<laughs> Sorry, guys. I forgot my sunglasses. <laughs> yeah, what, hey, my daughter says. Hey, Dave. I might have alcohol. Harry. You have alcohol? <laughs> it's gotta be Terry. Hey. Kenny. That's high power. What's up, Kenny? Shine your forehead. Stroke. You wouldn't have to bring Stroke a monitor. <laughs> on your forehead. No, he can surgically, <laughs> he can surgically <laughs> implant a screw coming through the top of his head like a tripod. So then he um, can the camera on his head. I didn't like living in the East, but um, you know, the work was fun and exciting. But it was enough. I bet they just explode. Exactly what do. Do. Oh, yeah. and walking this <laughs> 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 I may go down to my brother's house. Were in the stalls. <laughs> so I even changed my mom's <laughs> flight so she'll oh, be here man. for a minute. <laughs> We're keeping her for five days extra. Oh, oh, cool. we so it is true. Right. She's not afraid of the light. Go towards the light. No. One of the concepts is that the chip that you have will shut off according to where in the country. Well, GR, what do you want for yourself for the next year? My, uh, I don't know. $100,000. Oh, wait. Uh, Girlfriends. Brother. Be healthy. Another year. Be healthy and, and happy and lucky. Well, oh, I'm gonna do that. That's simply all I want to say. Got a gun. I'm eating. So. Enough <laughs> 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 supplies for two weeks. <laughs> Christmas Eve, 1999. We're gonna go to my sister's house, spend the day with her. We're gonna go pick up great grandma first. We got a car load of presents. Grandma went inside. Five minutes later, she just hadn't come out yet. I hope she's still alive. I guess she forgot her purse. She'll be back in a second. We're gonna get in the car. Daddy, I'm shivering and I will stop. Oh, my window broke, my window broke. Whatever you do, don't get out of the car. It's freezing. <laughs> <laughs> you made it. <laughs> Daddy, what's the cell phone number? We'll call back. He says there's no present under the tree for us yet, Daddy. Okay. There we go. She probably has to grab them. Why is Tammy having everybody today? Set up tomorrow.
Because my girl's going to be here. Oh! Well, you don't get them tomorrow. No, they go to the Yes, sir. In the store, what? trade secrets. Trade secrets? Yeah, it's quite a common industry practice. What if I promise not to photograph the store, just the person? Uh, outside the store is fine. <laughs> I know it's silly. What about your secret agent? Yeah, they think I'm working for another company, getting such a yeah. professional camera. So we're covertly recording right now. We're, we're covertly recording. So we have to secretly record you right now. <laughs> I'm secretly recording you right now. Oh. Ahead of her. Oh, she did. Oh, that yeah. was nice over, huh? Yeah, it was. She says, "Go ahead." She said. Everybody's in the Christmas spirit. It's yeah, a lot. All the time. I didn't know that. Yeah. All right. I tell you who appreciates them a lot: the black people. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm standing in line. I see a black lady. She kind of looks kind of down. I give her a big old hug and bless you. And tell her God bless you, and she just. Oh, All thank right. you. That's great. Well, oh, here's your change. Okay. They always like it. <laughs> you know, they appreciate it. Okay. You know, that's it. I'll let them go ahead. Go ahead in front of me. Okay, we're getting out of Fairfield, going to Vacaville to see the sis for the Christmas Eve celebration. Come on, get out. We're here. Sammy's out. We just gotta figure out how to get out of the car. How do you do it? Let's go check on Amanda. Hey! She's actually gonna do it. boxes out there. Look, look at this. Yeah. Here, get, get my, get the Santa. Do <laughs> 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 a great addition to the collection. He <laughs> <laughs> is adorable. Me and Mr. and Mrs. now on the other end. Wow. No, you get those off of him. You ain't no princess, boy. They don't fit me. Well, then you're giving to somebody who does fit. Oh, the presents over here? Okay. She's all laughing because she did it. Look at all the presents right here. Here, here. look over here. 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 Right here, all the kids. Grab Put this down here. <laughs> but mommy, daddy, Santa this year. Well, daddy's sleeping, so we're gonna have to improvise. Would I'll be Santa. I'll be Santa. Would you pass out the gifts the kids so Kenny can take? What's he gonna see? Coffee. Danielle, sit down. It's not wrapped. It's okay. Well, here, let Grandma give the girls theirs first, since it's not wrapped. Mine's not either. Somebody take me, 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 me. These are dollies, and they're two different it, colors. So I was letting you guys. I was gonna wrap them and designate. 
Because I'm going to let you guys pick, okay? For me! I didn't get Danielle. Like I'm bringing Danielle your presents here and get tomorrow from Grandma, okay? Oh, yeah. so those are porcelain mm. dolls. Those are to look at. I love porcelain yeah. dolls. I have lots of them, huh, Daddy? Mm -hmm. We keep them in our special case. That's for you, uh, Grandpa. Thank you, Grandpa. Can I open it? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Another one. I love my pie. Another, Another porcelain doll. Yay! Another porcelain doll. Another porcelain doll. Thank you, Daddy. I can see him, but there's always something coming out. Mine already. And actually, he protests okay. against the safe blood. It's Wait, no, so not much that. Money no. This is my birthday. Is that baby got an alley? No, she got a shot. Oh, she got a shot. What's this for? So, 52. 52. You came with Larry, didn't you? No? By yourself? What made you decide to come all the way out here? We quit our jobs. She had a boyfriend out here. Yeah? Let's go to let's go to Fairfield. I need to go to Fairfield. Okay, let's go. Quit our jobs. Came out here with just our paycheck. Yeah. My father got real mad at me. But you ever come back to his house? <laughs> okay. My mother can't take. But I had already talked to her. My mother said, "Go." 
Your mother didn't have a problem with it? My dad always said I could never make it on my own, see? That's mainly the reason I came. Make it on my own. Yeah? He didn't want me to move. He didn't want me to take the kids. And he was real sick. He only had like six months to live. Yeah, he had cancer real bad. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I came anyway. Did you ever come back to this house once you leave? You're not taking these kids. I didn't have intention of taking the kids because I didn't know where they were supposed to stay. Well, who was alive then? You had Harry? And Mom? Uh -huh. All three of them? Mm -hmm. And Manuel, too. Manuel? Oh, yeah, all four of them. So you all were all living in Tucson? Mm hmm. So, anyway, hmm. my sister in law kept Teresa. And Manuel was with these other people. Anyway, uh, my mom and dad had the two. I came out here, went right out to the base to see about a job as soon as I got here. Because I couldn't do it without a job. Yeah. And uh, and my girlfriend tried to find this boyfriend. Right? Yeah. I couldn't find him. Come to find out he had, meantime, found somebody here and married. But she had, he had just gone to see her a month before that. So. Oh, man. Then we were staying in the only motel they had on Main Street, on the Main, on Texas Street there. Yeah. Deluxe no, street. you can't go out that door. What? No. No. Your mother, ten, five bucks a night. <laughs> so anyway, and we had There was only one hotel in town? On the Main Street there. <laughs> so anyway, uh, we, had to, we thought about this. Hey, that bus just dumped us. Uh -huh. It was February. Take huh? Yeah, about six. Get out of here there with you. Uh. <laughs> he said, oh, there's a motel there. So we went to a motel. Five bucks a night. Man, that hurt. Couldn't take no food in there or nothing. No. <laughs> we don't have that kind of money in our pocket. You know, no. we have to watch it. I told Elizabeth, I said, we can't stay here. I said, we can't be paying five bucks every night. We better find a place to live, you know. Yeah. Back to the cab driver. Cab driver says, oh yeah, he says, there's places in Sisu. I said, nope, I'm not climbing that Greyhound to go anywhere else in California. He busted out laughing. He said, no, he was just over the railroad track. So he took us there. Yeah. We found a place, in fact, the place is still there. Oh, yeah? We lit, yeah, my first home. So we rented this place for 50 bucks a month. Because in them days, everything was just too loud. Is it too loud for him? Um, that moved in there, got me a job. I wasn't at my job. I wasn't supposed to start till March. This is February, right? About the first part of February. I thought, well, the money's getting thin. And then she decided to go back home. Uh, why did she go back home? Because the boyfriend was married and all that. He even took us to meet this wife of his, <laughs> some dumb little girl, you know, in Woodland someplace, wherever the heck she was living at. Yeah. Anyway, so she decided to go home. Okay, I couldn't talk her out of it because she could have went to work at the base. I was supposed to work at March. They came. There were three hotels in town. Yeah. Everything was in Susun then. Fairfield didn't have nothing. I'm walking down the street like this. They had all these little restaurants, you know. I'm gonna go get me a, uh, a drink. So I'm walking. This guy come out of the hotel. Uh, do you happen to be Corman? I says, yeah. Uh, they, the base just called. I want you to come out because whoever I was supposed to take their place was gonna decided not to wait till March. Oh, okay. Which, oh man, I couldn't get out there fast enough. You know, that meant I was going to go to work and have me a meal every day. Yeah. I was getting kind of hungry. Uh -huh. Not starving, but hungry. So I went home and gathered all these pennies, you know, it cost 25 cents to get to the space. Yeah. I got there. And they gave me my uniform and all that, you know. And I thought, okay, how the heck am I getting home? So that my supervisor, to me, you know, uh -huh. they, she gave me a ride home. It was about that time, and, and I went to work the next day, happier in the lark. 
I lived there for a while, and then I moved over there in back of, uh, there used to be a, a trailer park in back on Highway 12 there where Mackie used to be. Uh, did I know Mackie then? No, I didn't even know Mackie then. I had just got here. But there used to be a garage there. There was a trailer park behind it. Little trailer park like the ones on the main street there. Yeah. So I rented me one of them. You paid it by the week or every two weeks, however you got paid. I moved there because you could catch the bus right there. So that worked okay. And then the supervisor there kind of took me under her wing. She lived on Delaware Street. She had a big family. So every Sunday I'd go to church with them, you know. Mm -hmm. And then I'd, I'd stay there at their house, eat dinner and all that, you know. Hey, she was a good cook, too. Oh, yeah? Homemade, she always had homemade cakes and all that. You know? How long was it before the kids came? Well, then, then my, I kept calling home, you know, and I sent cards and all that to my dad, you know. Yeah. Hoping he felt better, and I always signed the kid's name. Yeah. So anyway, towards about six months in June, I went back. Six months of the day I came here. Oh. Uh, my mom called me, you know. She said, you better come home. Your dad's asking for you. Yeah. I thought, wow. wow. <laughs> He's asking for me. Well, death has that kind of effect on people. It makes them look at things a little bit different. Yeah. But see, I wasn't ever mad at him. Yeah. I mean, I, I went. I did what I had to do, you know. Yeah. I know it. it, uh, it he wasn't too happy because he wanted to keep me there. Yeah. He, he always thought I was 10. That's how they treated me. Mm -hmm. I had to ask, here I'm a grown woman with kids. I asked to ask him permission if I could even go to a movie at night. You know, that's oh, yeah. a little bit ridiculous there. Because right. I worked all the time. I didn't have free time. I wasn't running the streets or anything. I come home from work every night at 12.30, got up with the kids. I was up at 6. That was the, that was the time I slept, from 12.30 to 6. What about the, the fathers of... Of, uh, the kids? Yeah, were, you met them all in Tucson? Yeah. See, I, for some reason I had the impression you met some of them out here, one of them out here. Mackie I did. You did? Grandpa Mackie, yeah. I didn't know him. Well, where'd you meet Mom's dad? In Tucson. Yeah? Uh -huh. he, and he was oh. in the military? Somebody just told me that they called the, the Salvation Army found somebody else's relative. I thought about my dad again. Hmm. Uh, the, the Salvation Army will... No, oh, they have some place. If you know, if they were, I have a book that says if they were ever in Call Loretto. And one time I went to the library, and you look in the book there. So says, there's a base in Tucson, huh? There must be a base. Yeah, Davis Mountain. Okay. And uh, that's where all these GIs came from. What was his name? Uh, what was his name? Eugene Humphreys. Eugene Humphreys. And uh, anyway. So then I went back home, yeah. and uh, I got there like today, you know, about this time. Where were the kids? weren't even there. They were at the movies or something. Yeah. So I walked in the bedroom where he was, shocked. He was laying by little bones. My dad used to be well built, you know. And tears come to my mama. I came out of the room. My mom said, "Don't let him see you cry." So I went back in, and I got a hold of his head. I said, "I'm home, Dad." He says, oh, and you don't have to leave. He says, you don't have to leave. You can stay. See, that's all he wanted me to do is come back. But I never was angry at him, you know. I told him, I'm not mad at him. And, it, yeah, she says, F, and then three days later he passed on. And wow. that's where he wanted to die. He wanted to die at home. He didn't want to die in a hospital or nowhere. He wanted, that was the last place he wanted to leave was his house. And he wanted to be cremated. You know, he didn't want to be put in the ground, let the worms eat him, you know, stuff like that. So it was done exactly like he wanted it done. So anyway, uh, so I said, okay. That's all he was waiting for. Mom, my mom said, that's all he was, he thought you were angry at him. <laughs> but he knew better, she said, because he told me that he knew them cards that came with the kids' names was from you. And then I'd call every week, you know, see how he was doing. So what did you do after he died? Uh, after he died, I came back here. I had my job. Then, it wasn't too long, about a month or so later, my mom rented the house out and came out here and stayed with me and brought the kids with her. The kids have been here ever since. They went to Crystal, all of them. That's hard to believe. That old school. That's all that school there was in this one. Yeah? Yeah. It went from kindergarten all the way. 
And then the courthouse used to be Armia. The new courthouse, oh, yeah. that was Armia. So, and in Fairfield, there was nothing in Fairfield. The food for food fair was the only store. Little J.C. Penney's, little dime store. So how old um, were the kids when you moved out here? I think Terry was like seven. So. Terry's uh, seven. Barbara must have been nine. Maybe. Years, huh? And Larry, Harry must have been twelve. Married. Yeah. Yeah, we lived. We always lived in Sioux, though. Well, I wouldn't live in Fairfield. I don't like Fairfield to live in. Especially now, it's dangerous for a woman to live by herself in Fairfield. Too many mean people there. Yeah. I'm safe. Well, what did you move to Las Vegas for? Larry and I, one little whims, you know. Is this the twins? We didn't have, what the heck did we have here? I mean, yeah. we had the kids over there too. Yeah. Had them in, in uh, one month, the whole month in the summertime. Uh -huh. We came and got them, took them all back there with us. Huh. We had kid. We got. We left here and went back there. Larry went to work right away. I went to work and bought a house. Everything over there. You could buy a house right for little or nothing. Right. You know, pay it off like you pay rent. Yeah. And you have a house. And then before we left, we sold the house back to the same woman. Got our money back. <laughs> <laughs> same house, same money. We left that we came in with. It's like you were rent free all that time. Really, but anyway, uh, I think you take care of the house. That's what you were doing, house sitting. Yeah. Well, what'd you move for? To Las Vegas. Back from Las Vegas. Oh, to here? I hate it, Las Vegas. Too hot. I hate it. No, the temperature was just like Tucson. Yeah. It's just uh, the people back in in Las Vegas are very unfriendly. Yeah. We moved into a neighborhood in North Las Vegas there, where the same people lived there for over all the time we were there. You, I water that that ground there a hundred times a day just to see if anybody would say hi, you know. <laughs> They'd be out there too doing their thing. Never even look at you. Hmm. The same people live there all the time. Is this the girls? Finally. Mm -hmm. All of it? I don't know. I put a bunch of the clothes in the bag, but I don't know which is which. I don't know. Either. You're gonna have to go through it, huh? Yeah. So anyway, I uh, I told Larry, uh, that we, I don't know how many times we came to, to here. Yeah. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So the last time I told him. Then Maxine came up there and stayed. Alice came up there and stayed. Alice Alice had people there, though. She, her mother was there and everything. Yeah. She came with us when we moved. She went with us, her and her son. Stayed there for a while. Every time they come and leave, then I want to come home too, you know. I don't want to be up there. I don't know nobody. People are very unfriendly. I didn't. Gambling wasn't my kick anyway. Right. Larry. Larry wouldn't even buy a roll of nickels. Really? Yeah, he was never been a gambler. I'm surprised he didn't gamble. Uh -uh. Didn't care for it at all. Good thing. Yeah. We'd have never made it there. No. I imagine you met a lot of people that gambled that had a hard time. Everybody that worked with me. Yeah. On Friday, there was a Kmart right across the street from this little gambling joint there. Yeah. And on Friday we got paid. We all went there. I went there to have a beer. I didn't go there to play my, give them my money. Yeah. But I've seen these girls stand on their feet for 40 hours and give it to them, and in an hour's time they'd be broke. Borrowing money the next day, see how they could pay that little rent by the week, you know, because you can rent a trailer and all that by the week there. There's very, a lot of transits there. And I used to tell them, you guys need to go back where you come from, you know, where there's no gambling. Anyway, I got tired of it all. I told her, yeah, I want to go home. To yeah. Stay. So we packed everything up. Came home. Larry went to work right away. Your mom was living in Sassoon. You know where the Sassoon Market used to be there? Mm -hmm. Across the street, underneath this one one apartment that she lived in, the bottom apartment. We stayed there with her. Yeah. Till we got. Then we moved in with where we're living now. Uh -huh. Maxine lived there. You gotta be kidding. Yeah. And uh, so we went and stayed with her for about two weeks. And meantime, Larry got a job and all this, you know. Then we moved out by ourselves. But uh, yeah, we lived there with your mom first. Yeah. She was living there by herself. And then we moved over there. Where was she, what was your mom doing? She was working someplace. But that she was living there then when we came home. 
that we went and visited you in. in uh, you Las, guys came. You were Las just Vegas. little. You were yeah. just about five years old. Yeah, I remember that visit. Well, you know where we lived? That's the house we bought. Oh yeah. <laughs> and that's the house we sold. I remember you chasing Larry around the room with a wine bottle, a broken <laughs> wine bottle. <laughs> he was a <laughs> terrible drunk. <laughs> I hated it there. I'm thinking, boy, don't mess with Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> we had fun there. What I liked about it, you know, like when we had the girls there, yeah, Larry, they used to wait for Larry to come home. He was good with the kids, as far as that goes. They wait for him. He'd get home. He'd take them to Lake Mead. Yeah. Oh, and you went swimming there. The water was like bath water. So oh. nice. It was a man-made lake, yeah. you know. And you went up the hill there. Sometimes we'd come off of it in the evenings. You parked over there, you could see the whole city, the lights, you know, especially down where they have the casinos. Beautiful. Yeah. We used to take the girls and put them in the car and take them down the main street there in oh. downtown yeah. just so you could see the lights. lights yeah. But the casinos over there are landscaped in front, too. Mm. They're not like in Reno. Each one of them has different. Mm. Like the Circus Circus, beautiful back there. There's nothing like this one here. No. They have one floor just for kids. Yeah? Yeah, just for kids. There's no booze, no gambling, no nothing oh, really? on that second floor. Because we took the kids there. <clears throat> they have uh, little concessions for them. They have, uh, they can have hamburgers, little side shows, all that stuff for them. Machines to play, you know, little mm -hmm. games and all that. That strictly for the kids. So we used to take them there. And they Mom was oh, vacuuming. <laughs> she going. <laughs> and then they had little stage there where they had performance all the time. Yeah. Different ones, you know, they'd have first of all they'd come out with a little elephant, he did little tricks, you know. Then then they'd have the flying ladies, you know, girls. Yeah. Acrobats and all that. They had that a lot thing. for the kids there. This one here doesn't have nothing that I didn't read. There they are, waiting for me. I have my mother. I thought y'all were carrying things. There's one behind you, didn't you? Yeah. Did you know we had this baby like behind you? Amanda, did you know Melissa said anything else? Stop! And watch what she does. See if you pull it, her hair gets longer. Mm. And see if you make it once, it gets that short. Oh, wait. See? And then if you do it two times. The cabbage pack kid. It's in 10 minutes, it's my turn to hold baby, right? <laughs> that's great. Oh, that's cute too. Oh, look at it's it. It's a cowboy. Oh. Yeah. This one's going to take a knife. Where'd you find that, Chris? So now you got the regular one and you got the cowboy That one. is cool. Really? You can put one on each one. I guess there's have different kinds. <laughs> Christmas morning. Sorry, Christina, didn't mean to scare you. <laughs> Christmas morning. All right. Here we go. We're going to open some serious presents. Yeah. We are. <laughs> Can we open our presents right now? Look what. Well, it's up to you, Mama. Look what Doug got from Wait, Raider Man. Ooh, to Doug from Raider Man. All right. Okay, guys, go there and sit down. Can yeah. I <laughs> Close your eyes. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Give me. I see it. <laughs> oh, how cute, honey. Look, I got another I Santa. Santa. Oh. It's a Santa ornament, though. Oh, it's an, oh, it's that's ornament. our this year ornament. Oh, that's cute. You know, that'd be this cute. This is our 1999 ornament. 
I'll put it on the tree. That'd be cute tree. to do Santa's all over the tree. Yeah. Hey, where do you think you're going? Let Daddy hang it on my tree for me, okay? okay. Where do you think you're going? Thank you, baby. I don't even know how to Everest. I'll hang it on the tree. Look at my there stocking stuff right now. Sit down. Sit down. Okay. Mama. The cameraman taking pictures of the cameraman. I'm on my little one. Thank you, honey. Here's one. Don't worry. Yeah. Let me sit in that chair. That's our 99 ornament. This one. Yeah. Mommy, daddy. Huh? Thank you. You're welcome. Mm. The little red one, okay? <laughs> Christina, what do you got there? Oh, oh, oh. Started. Okay. Without the rest of the family. Take a present, Daddy. Honey, you okay. the baby, because... <laughs> Daddy, give her a present to open, huh? Grab a finder one. That was mine. <laughs> you gotta find her one first. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Who's this to? Christina. Yeah. Well, well, that makes it easy. Christina! Come here. Christina! Look. There. <laughs> Look at yours. See? Yours. Just open. Yes. What is it? She's going to get our present. What? No, I know. I don't want that. Christina, looky there. Christina. Bubba. <laughs> Twisty tie, well, this right here, huh? That's what it says. Does it have a battery? Does it have a battery? We're here! Oh, 
Look at they have this in the <laughs> Who's going to hang something big? Chris, that's to you and Tammy from Nancy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright. There you go. You need another one to open, Danielle? I know. Yeah, yeah, to help you with that, baby. Yeah, listen, child. What is it? Grandma, this is from you. Cookie mix. Oh, look at me, gingerbread cookies. Oh, cute. Isn't that nice? It's from my Thank cousin. Thank you, boo. So you got Mommy, a short sleeve one and a long sleeve one. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that goes to Dad and I. Dad, right. Lie! Paper off. Sorry, Lee. Christina Wiener! Anti-terror. Anti-terror. A ball! A ball! What is it? You got a ball! Size blanket. It is. Isn't it bad about a queen? Yes. Yeah. Thank wow, you yeah. very Look how much. Big that is. Oh, I'll wow. show you this. I will. Look at this. That is God, nice. It took hours. Thank you. But if you were just. Thank you very much. That's what Grandma Susan It's beautiful. And that is, that is washable. Okay. Did you wash it? Wash it on gentle. Wow. Okay. Big boy. You probably won't have to wash it very often, yeah. but. Wow, big boy. Oh, thank you. Grandma, look at this. Wow. Oh, 
that is killer. <laughs> I love that laugh. Tommy, big boy Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to catch you sitting on that either. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey, Zante. All right, oh yeah. This <laughs> name the photo okay. cake. <laughs> okay, baby. Did you get it, Grandpa? Thank you, Tim. All I can get is a bunch of paper fun in there.
Oh, 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 Look at Lane's thing, it keeps going down and I know, isn't that cute? Let's see, I wonder what this is. be. What is it, Grandpa? Oh, 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 this is Auntie's actually. This is Auntie's present. Oh, that's open. Okay. Oh, there, I open it for us. Yeah, not my knife. I think we open it. Have the eye for me. Yeah. Kenny, you got a knife? Yeah. Can I borrow it? Sure can. It's not going to say bury it. Bury it. Oh, thank you. She's opening like that. They didn't put a metal in there? They didn't put a front of it. Yeah, anytime you want to give me one of these, that's fine with me. It's yours. You like that, eh? Oh, yeah. Oh, I forgot to Oh, I figured, you know, when you're just so cold, you know, I think. Well, there's just something about when it's like you know somebody that works in the house, it makes it a lot warmer. Yeah, that's true. It makes it more special. Yes, I like things in my house that have a memory, something attached to it from people that care. Right. Well, I told you, I made a building name. Nice. Yeah, I mean too. Thank you, baby. Okay, yeah, I don't know how to. Christina's got a good picture. You know what? I just got some. Oh candles. my God. Oh! I have a lion uh, and my mom! You knew that, huh? You told me that, probably. Mom. Oh, good. I want like you, mommy. Like me? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Oh,
another one. Yeah, that's a good idea. Rebecca of Sunnybrook Farm. Paul. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Come on, honey. I need some jeans. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Same size as that. Uh, yeah. uh, the borrowed bar jeans. Right? <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> we gotta get rid of some of these boxes. I'm a baby girl. Oh, Tara, I gotta show you something in the other room. I got stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. That is nice. I like that. You know what? I'll be you borrowing that. Oh, that is soft. Feels yeah. soft. Yeah. Ooh, I like that. Go put it on. That's what it is. I hope it'll fit. Good off. Oh, it'll fit. <laughs> put it on so I can take it off. <laughs> <laughs> you were a little more intense earlier. That is nice. Thank you. Did you get a <laughs> <laughs> You know who it reminds me of is him. You can have a pal oh, okay. on that. That one looks like this. Look at this here. Can I show them, Dad? I mean, Uncle, can I show them my glass doll? Yeah. I have two of them. Yeah. Only if it comes out. I just got, I have, I got two porcelain dolls for Christmas. Yeah? Amanda and Melissa got two porcelain dolls for Christmas. Oh. One is from you and one is from Grandma and gra Grandma. Yeah. Period. <laughs> Look at that. I already looked at that. No, Are you dancing Santa? What? Are you dancing Santa? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. My mommy. Yeah, I think you're going to have that doll for a long time. You did a good job, Lane. Oh, you're hanging now. Wow. All right, big boy. Put some light on the subject. Yeah. <laughs> that is the coolest thing. Look at that. It's cool you can interact with it. Reverse, reverse. So That's I normal. have five glass things. Because I have three globes upstairs and I got two um, poison glass of poison. Christina. <laughs> I got it, Tara. Oh, okay. <laughs> she knows what she's doing. <laughs> Give me the face one more time. One more time, Christina. Give me the face. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> she goes, I ain't playing this time. Give me the face. Come on. Nope. 